finally, I have tickets. Let's go. What's up, baseball fans? I was having some trouble getting tickets there at the end. There was a mad rush for general admission tickets, but I got it. Game time was about 1.35. It's about 2 p.m. right now. I'm way late, but I only made the decision to come to this game about an hour ago. It's a day game. Game two of the NLCS, Padres versus Phillies. Tickets are way cheaper today because it's a work day. So I decided to, to make it happen and kind of show up last minute. But it's already the second inning, so time for me to start jogging and get in there. I missed a great catch by Trent Grisham and a double for Manny Machado, but no runs were scored in the first inning. I finally made it inside the stadium. The Friar faithful are going crazy at Petco Park today. I bought a standing room only ticket, so I'm going to be moving around a lot this game. Bryce Harper leads off the second inning and faces Blake Snell. It's their first matchup since June 25th when Snell broke Harper's thumb with a fastball. Snell delivers the 3-2 pitch. Harper hits it back up the middle and over the glove of ha -Seon Kim. Nick Castellanos follows it up with another single. Now the Phillies have a runner in scoring position. Alec Bohm hits yet another single. That's three singles in a row for the Phillies. This one scores Harper, and Bohm advances to second on the Soto throwing error. The Phillies strike first. I'm going to warn you in advance, this inning gets ugly for the Padres. The Phillies have runners on second and third, but Blake Snell gets the first out of the inning by striking out Gene Segura with a 97 mile per hour four seam fastball. The Padres fans give him some love. They know there's still a lot of baseball to be played. Matt Verlein hits a deep fly ball to right field. No! Juan Soto loses it in the sun. He has no idea where the ball's going to land. Another run scores. It's scored as a double, but we all know that ball needs to be caught. Here's a slow-mo replay. Soto is literally covering his head as the ball flies by. My favorite part is Soto's comically large sunglasses. And Mundo Sosa steps into the batter's box with one out. He hits a little bloop shot into left field. Profar doesn't get the best read off the bat, and the ball ends up dropping right in front of his feet, allowing the Phillies to score their third run of the inning. And the fans at Petco Park are not happy with the Padres' defense this inning. The Phillies have runners on first and third. Drury is holding on Sosa at first base. Kyle Schwarber smokes one right to Drury, but it's too hot to field cleanly. He gets the out, but another run scores, making it four to zero. Reese Hoskins hits a lazy fly ball out to right, but Juan Soto is still fighting with the sun, but he gets under it and makes the catch for the third out. Soto is scaring us all with that last one. Finally, it's the Padres' turn to hit in the second inning. Brandon Drury leads it off and rips the ball down the line. It just barely clears the left field fence for a home run, and it looks like the Padres fan makes a nice catch on the fly. The Padres are on the board. It's 4-1. On the very next pitch, Josh Bell turns on the fastball and launches a moonshot into the right field upper deck. Padres fans are going nuts. They know their team is right back in this game. big half inning for the Padres. The Phillies put up four runs in the second, but then the Padres came back, back-to-back -back home runs to bring it to 4-2. Let's go to the top of the fifth inning. The score is still 4-2. Kyle Schwarber draws a walk, and a few pitches later, he steals second. The Phillies are threatening again, but Blake Snell strikes out Reese Hoskins to get the second out. JT Real Muto is up, and he will likely be the last batter Blake Snell will face today. On the fifth pitch of the at-bat, Real Muto hit a foul ball that landed about 10 feet away from where I was standing. Unfortunately, I had a camera in one hand and a hot dog in the other. That's probably the closest I've ever been to a live ball, even if it was foul. Dang it. This is the eighth pitch of the at-bat. The crowd is on their feet. They're making noise. They're waving towels. Snell drops in a curveball, and Real Muto goes down looking. Snell finishes his night with a strikeout, and the Phillies leave Schwarber stranded at second. Now it's the Padres' turn to bat in the fifth inning. You don't want to miss this because it may be the biggest inning in Padres postseason history. But I want to hear what you think. Leave a comment and tell me if you agree. Ha Seung Kim leads it off for the Padres. He slaps the ball into right field for a base hit. For the first time in MLB postseason history, brothers are facing off. Pitcher versus him. The matchup everyone wants to see. Austin Nola versus Aaron Nola. This is a textbook hit and run. Kim gets a huge jump and Segura goes to cover second base. Nola hits it to the right side, but Segura has no chance to get there. Kim is rounding third and he's coming in high. Jerk 
Jackson Profar is the batter with one out. He hits it to the right side. It finds a gap for a base hit and moves Nola to third. Phillies want to talk things over at the mound. Meanwhile, the Friar Faithful in Petco Park are going absolutely crazy. We are only down by one run with Juan Soto coming up next. Nola gets two quick strikes, but then Soto rips the sinker down the right field line for a double. Just like that, this game is tied four to four and the Padres aren't done yet. At this point, everyone in Petco Park is pretty much losing their minds. I can't remember the last time I was at a game with a crowd this high. Just listen to the crowd when Manny Machado gets announced. Padres have two runners in scoring position. Nola delivers the pitch. Manny takes a big league hack, Ugh, but it goes foul. Stackhouse says that ball went 353 feet, so it definitely had home run potential if it stayed fair. Unfortunately, Nola gets Manny to strike out swinging on the next pitch. There's two outs and the score is still tied. The crowd is a bit more tense now, but everyone is still on their feet and ready to go nuts. The Phillies finally decided to go to the bullpen. It's now Brad Hand on the mound. Jake Cronenworth steps back into the box with a full count. Here comes the payoff pitch. Brandon Drury has only been a Padre since August. He was traded over from the Cincinnati Reds before the trade deadline. Now he's in the NLCS in the middle of the biggest at-bat of his career. One swing could bust game two wide open. Bases loaded, full count, runners are moving. Here comes the pitch. switch hitter Josh Bell is batting righty against hand. Bell sits on a slider left up in the zone and smokes it past the diving Hoskins and almost hits Drury in the process. Cronenworth scores the fifth run of the inning. The Padres are now winning seven to four. like a party. It's the most fun I've had at a baseball game or really any sporting event in a really long time. The Padres haven't been to the NLCS since 1998 and it's the first ever NLCS to be played at Petco Park. You can tell the San Diego fans have been ready for this moment for a really long time. Ah Seung Kim is batting for the second time this inning. He started off this huge rally and scored the first run. Fans at Petco really love Kim. Just listen to these chants. Let's go, Andrew Belletti is the new pitcher. He keeps coming inside on Kim and almost hits him a few times. The crowd lets Belletti know how they feel about it and Kim draws an easy walk. Grisham and Belletti really battle it out during this eight pitch at bat. 
we make it to yet another full count with bases loaded situation, but even the best inning must eventually come to an end. Grisham watches a 95 mile per hour fastball on the inside corner for strike three. He doesn't like the call, but it doesn't matter. The bottom of the fifth inning is finally over after 37 minutes of pure insanity. On to the seventh. Manny Machado leads off the bottom of the inning for the Padres. He works the count and hits about a million foul balls before crushing a homer to center field. This pitch was supposed to be a cutter, but it's right down the pipe and doesn't cut. Manny smashes it 424 feet with 108 mile per hour exit velocity. Manny just hit a bomb! Manny! Hoskins jumps on a first pitch fastball and hits it out to score the Phillies first run since the second inning. Real Muto gets on base and Bryce Harper is the batter, but the Padres turn a nice double play to kill the rally and Manny is hyped. Josh Hader is in to close it out in the ninth. He makes quick work at the bottom of the Phillies order, striking out all three batters. Hader gets the save and Snell gets the win thanks to that incredible fifth inning. But most importantly, the Padres tie up the series with their first NLCS win in almost 25 years and the first ever NLCS win at Petco Park. Final score, Padres eight, Phillies five. I honestly think that fifth inning where the Padres drop five is gonna go down as one of the biggest innings in Padres postseason history. Game three is gonna be in Philadelphia, so we'll see how the Padres do there, but winning game two here, splitting at home, that was huge, that was necessary. See you guys next time. Hopefully we make it back to Petco Park. I'd love to be there. I'll see you guys then.